Hey folks, how are you all doing? So welcome back to the channel. Thanks for all of you who, who've been uh, following, leaving some comments, asking a few questions from time to time, and of course, leaving likes and sharing with your friends. Uh, this is a, an amateur venture of mine. I genuinely enjoy making these videos. And this one here, what we're gonna be doing is um, comparing my recent purchase, the Apollon Storm Fins, to the Apex RK3 Fins, and also the uh, Aqualung Blades 2 fin. Um, the, the Apex and the RK3 are not mine. They belong to a friend of mine and a, another dive buddy, uh, VJ. He was generous enough to lend them to me and um, he's been using those two for some time, like combined maybe over 20 years with, with both of them. So, you know, we're gonna go into a little bit of comparison now and we're gonna try to look at the pros and cons and maybe, you know, talk a little bit about the design of each. So. Here we go. Welcome back, folks. For those of you who are joining me for the first time, uh, I'm an amateur scuba diver, open water diver, currently working on my advanced certification. And, uh, you know, I've been building up my gear kit. And what I've been doing is inviting people to join me on that journey as I learn to become a safer and more reliable diver so recently like within the last week or so i got this here this is just one side of the aqualung storm i have the other somewhere but you know for this particular video i don't think we need both sides this is my first uh, diving fin and i intend to use this for quite some time and today what i want to do is talk a little bit about the features for this fin but I also want to do a little bit of a comparison to the Apex RK3, one of the most popular and recommended fins amongst the scuba diving community. And with good reason too, you know, it is popular for a reason. But that's not all we're gonna be looking at. We're gonna be looking at one of the older models from Aqualung, this is the Blades 2. And you know, we're gonna spend a little bit of time talking about these, um, three different fins and try to you know identify together some of the pros and cons of each um now as i said earlier the blades 2 and the rk3 do not belong to me they belong to a really good buddy of mine who um uh was generous enough to lend me the gear for the purpose of this video and you know i'm just gonna go through a little bit of a comparison now and you know we will get to see what's up with each of these so we're gonna get started with mine because well why not <laughs> so the aqualung storm it's a it's a newer fin from aqualung it's part of it's um designed to be travel friendly and i can tell you it's quite light it's made out of a single piece of monoprene it has a bit of a bungee here that's not too stiff it's stiff enough but it's not too too difficult to adjust it has a little bit of a grippy um uh it's a sextagon yeah a little honeycomb type um thing going on here so it offers your foot a decent grip when you put it on now this is an open heel fin yes however the general rule of thumb has always been that with an open heel fin you wear booties with this fin you don't have to wear booties again because it's designed to be travel friendly uh, this way, the diver who is using this doesn't need to travel with a set of booties as well. They can use this uh, barefoot or um, in the case of those who want to go a little bit deeper and worry about that exposure protection, um, you can use uh, dive socks. I, I have a pair of dive socks that I will be using. So this grip here makes it a little bit more comfortable when you're, you're walking around with it on. Uh, maybe, I mean, you probably wouldn't be doing that much though, but like when you're on the dive boat and so on. Um, if we look going down here it's like a single piece of um they call it monoprene now initially i wasn't sure what monoprene was but monoprene is simply a synthetic material basically like a synthetic rubber that is branded so there might be other people doing similar materials to this very similar but this one is patented and branded and so on and it's called monoprene so you know that's basically what it is like a synthetic rubber that's it's quite light if I were to put it next to the um, the Apex RK3, the RK3 does weigh quite a lot more. 
Um, so if you notice here, it has these individual channels, which I imagine would um, would help well, when when you know in terms of the the water flow um, when using them. Uh, this hole here. I'm guessing this helps minimize the, the drag. Uh, could be wrong. This is just me trying to apply my limited physics knowledge um, and my limited scuba knowledge to, to the fins. Again, I've not yet used them because I simply can't. We're not allowed to go into the waters right now due to restrictions, you know, real world scenarios. Um, the size I got for this is large to XL, uh, which is basically if you're a nine and a half, to 11 and a half in US sizes. Uh, you know, I based on the brand of shoe and you know, the fit, this is generally what the sizes, the size range my foot would fall into. And these fit me quite well uh, without the sock. With the dive sock on, um, it's, it's probably a, a light snug, but it's not bad. It's not uncomfortable at all. If it, it yeah, I think I'll be fine with it. Um, and that's, that's the storm. This is, this is, oh, it has some, more grippy material here, I should probably mention that. Um, it's probably useful as well. Uh, the bungee itself is, okay, so I think it's made out of the same monoprene, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it is. Okay, now this, this particular fin, it's, um, it's not very expensive, it's about 80, 85 US from Aqualung. It's in that area. I can't remember the exact amount. Um, very light. It's gonna be it's gonna be good for those of you who want to travel with only carry-on luggage. I will be using this. And um, you know, and that's the storm. It's 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 nice. Oh also the color coding has to do with the sizing. So all the large to XL would have blue um, accents. Um, there's a uh, purple um red and a couple others but the different colors are, uh, is a way of indicating the size uh this one here is the black one naturally it's also available in white so if i were to get the white in large i would get the white it would come with the blue um accents and i'm sure at some point somebody maybe aqualung itself might do some customized color pieces color little accents that could be added if people wanted to be a little bit more um uh, identifiable, I suppose, um, with their gear. Um, so now we're gonna look at the classic, the RK3. Um, this is a pretty nice fin. This is something that I considered getting uh, early on. Um, yeah, it's 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 one of those that you know sometimes you don't fix something unless it's broken. This is the perfect example of that. This particular fin design is one that all the all the major companies have uh, a model of scuba fins that follow this general design. A singular piece of industrial rubber. They have the the channels here, just these three channels, and the little venting going on there, and this one here. So it you know it helps um again minimize the drag. It's wide and something to note. Um, if I put the storm on top of it, they're just about the same size. Like they're almost exactly the same size. Just like a, a few little differences there to the top, but very similar in size. Um, however, this one, you have to wear your booties. You can't, you, sh you sh really should not use this one without any booties. Inside here, we have some little, um, uh, some lines. I'm not sure if it's there for like a, Maybe it's there for like a gripping purpose to help it's uh, secure against the boot. We have this metal bungee, strong. It's very solid, just just in there, very strong. Um, little grips here to the back. Now we can see that this one is large. Uh, grips here, uh, and this one here is also large, by the way. And Aqualung and Apex use very similar sizing. But you can tell that even though they both say large, what you're seeing here is different. It's, this, it's definitely different. If I use my hand as the example, um, this one is, you know, it's a proper fit. This one here has a lot more room. So you, you really should be wearing this with booties. Uh, this is, you know, this is what a lot of the, the military and so on would use. Uh, they, and it's not just the RK3. There are other models like the, the Rocket, the Rocket 2. 
uh, IST has one as well. Uh, Scuba Pro has the, uh, yeah, I can't remember the name of the one from Scuba Pro, but they have one as well in that, um, of that same style. And now we're gonna look at the Blades 2. So, the thing with the Blades 2 is this, this isn't on sale anymore. So this is uh, one of those fins that um, Aqualong would have done and they would have had on sale, people would have used them, but it's not out any, on the market anymore. And I'm guessing because, you know, through their engineering processes and so on, they would have come up with uh, replacement models that does what this set of fins would do um, better, you know, and that's just the nature of things. Um, in, the t in the case of the RK3, there was no need to, to, to change on perfection. They might at some point find a way to make suit, like little changes on it, but very few, if any changes, have been made to this model over the years. Um, very, very few, if any. Um, this one here has definitely seen some action. This is, it has a lot of wear and tear, um, but it's still, it's definitely still a usable fin. It's, it's solid, it, it's, not as rigid it's yes yeah, definitely none of these are will be as rigid as the rk3 um you know the blades too definitely isn't isn't in that category also something to note uh these the, these two are used by the same diver but this one is size regular and uh, you know i'm guess this one it it seems to be just about the same sizing going on here even though this one is large, this one is regular. Um, not sure. Again, I'm not. I haven't been able to test this properly with a set of booties to, you know, to be very accurate on that. But um, yeah, it it, it has. Uh, so this feels like it's a couple different materials on this one, by the way. So there's definitely some plastic and rubber. Uh, should have mentioned that before. Um, yeah. So I guess that's. Because when I was purchasing uh, my fins and the description is specified singular piece of monoprene. And I guess that, you know, when you have some of these fins, maybe one of the problems they had with these in the long term is that because there's more than one material, you'd find that it wouldn't be a little bit consistent over time. Uh, maybe it might start to bend in one area or the other. And again, that is probably why this fella here never needs to, to change this design. It, it just stays the same. It works. So, um, yeah, but this this one, you know, um, the important thing with scuba gear, and I think it applies to all of them, you take care of your gear, it's going to take care of you. Um, if if my buddy, VJ, has been using this pair of fins here, the, the, the uh, Blades 2, for maybe about more than 10, close to 15 years before upgrading to the RK3, then definitely it did its job, and it kept him safe. So... You know, I just wanna want you all to see here that there's a difference in the size. So we know that the RK3 and the Storm are about the same size, but I want you to see the RK3 on the, when you compare it with the, um, with the Blades 2. So you can see here, I line them up at the back, but if we go forward, the Blades 2 is a lot longer than the RK3. And um, I think that the, the shorter fins that are, are more rigid might be make more sense in the long term in terms of the amount of strength you have to, to put out, especially when you're swimming in an area where you have to deal with currents and so on. So yeah, that's just me giving you all a little bit of a look at these different fins here. Oh, I forgot to mention the RK3, it retails for about uh, in maybe between one, T 150 US dollars. Um, the storm goes for, uh, like I said, about 80 US dollars. But keep in mind with the RK3, you also need to buy the booties. However, once you buy this fin and the booties, you likely never need to change it. Um, my fin here, we don't know because it's a new item. This literally went on the market this year, 2020. So we don't know as yet, like how long these would last. Um, so I'm, I'll be doing the experiment for the benefit of science. <laughs> and of course, the RK3, uh, the Blades 2. And yeah, this is me wrapping up this video. I hope you all liked it. Please remember to leave a little bit of a comment. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, that was embarrassing. Um, just dropped my phone while recording. Um, could have been worse. So yeah, um, what I'll be doing now is setting up to do another little bit of a um, look at some more gear and probably set some stuff up. So thanks for joining. Don't forget to leave a, a, a like below. And if you can and you're interested, you can leave a comment or a question. If there's something else you want to see on the channel, if you have a question about the, the fins and maybe where to get certain uh, pieces of equipment, feel free to ask. I like discussion. I like dialogue. I talk too much. I've been told. I, I disagree that I talk too much. I just I talk a lot. But hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, see you all soon for the next one. Bye. Thank you.